What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss another example chart and this is the chart of a IAS officer Indian administrative service this is a fantastic chart I am delighted to see this chart as most of you would have also been like me so today I will explain some uh, positions which lead to this and some very strong Raju words which this person is having okay so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me to my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end of course and before I begin as I say God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him now this is the chart of a officer who is in a very high rank uh, in the Indian administrative services and this person is uh, currently uh, in the Ministry of uh, Finance so I will not reveal much details pertaining to this now this person is born on 11 5 a.m. in the morning 2nd May 1976 and his parents uh, were in transfer and when he was born he was in Gohati and then immediately after his birth his parents shifted to another place so now this chart has multiple rajyogas okay so first of all before i start explaining the combinations let me say something important here that just because this person has these yogas and combinations and if you also have this it doesn't mean that you also become okay and it also does not mean that if you do not have any of these combinations you cannot become an IS officer which is Indian administrative service which is the most powerful of all bureaucracies in India yes so so that's my warning here that please do not think that uh, this is all in all and nobody apart from these who, who has these combinations can become a government official so that is not true okay but in this chart there are certain combinations which I will explain so now first things first let's see what's happening there see basically what does an IS officer deal with he deals with a lot of people right he deals with the government and also a lot of people he keeps talking on a day-to-day -day -day basis solving things of the society and implementing also now politicians are seen through Sun and bureaucrats are seen through the moon although they can play their roles interchangeably also sometimes but why do I say moon because bureaucrats cannot make decisions yes they are only the ones who implement although they also take decisions but the prime source of authority is with the politicians so the sun is the one who gives light and the moon receives the light and gives it to the earth so the bureaucrats are like the uh, moon because they can take the light from the sun which is the politicians and then implement the orders now the first thing is here let's see what's happening in the first house if we check the lagna lord because this is a uh, cancer ascendant so the lagna lord is placed in the 11th house yes and it is in exaltation here now what's happening here is the lagna lord when in 11th shows the native obtains naturally a lot of success because lagna shows yourself and 11th house is the house of gains name fame recognition so this is a very powerful raj yoga which is there in this chart although this may not be a technical raj yoga as per gemini because the kendras and trikonas are only considered for raj yoga but in kaliuga the 11th house becomes very important so if the lagna lord or the 11th lord is in lagna then this becomes very 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 prominent for getting very high post position okay so that is very true in this chart and that too it is in exaltation so it is very good here now uh, the another thing to be noted is uh, he has a exalted son okay in the chart so Surya Sun is the Karaka for government, politics and administration etc. So when Sun is exalted in somebody's chart that can naturally uh, prove to be very beneficial for the person in terms of governing people yes. So although he may not be governing but 
he is in touch with politicians so that is another indication here now the another strong placement here is that sun is in the 10th house it is having directional strength it is not only exalted but it is also having directional strength so this makes this combination 10,000 million times more powerful yes and the person is very much geared towards career working and name fame status and sun here if you observe is also the second lord so what does second house show second house shows our money our possessions yes what we have in this planet so that lord is sitting in the 10th house which is the strongest of the kendra houses yes one four seven ten and it is having all directional strength and also it is in exaltation so this is like fabulous this is like beautiful from all sides and this person is financially also very well sound considering the fact that he is an ice officer now the next thing to be seen here is we have the 11th house here and mercury is also placed there in the 11th house and mercury is fabulous in the 11th house because uh, 11th house is the house of money and mercury shows finances so mercury in the, in the 11th is fabulous for money and it is also the third lord here so third house and 11th house when conjunct shows a lot of uh, experiences with people in general so that is another very good placement which this person has mercury in the 11th and now if you take the consideration of the second house uh, sorry the 11th house so the 11th lord is venus here considering the sign Taurus. 11th lord venus is also situated in the 10th house yes so when the 11th lord is in the 10th or 10th lord is in the 11th this is the best thing you can have for career because career name fame status is 10th house and 11th house is money so when they are sitting in each other's houses or they are conjunct or one of them is sitting in the other's house for example here the 11th lord venus is sitting in the 10th house so that shows fabulous income fabulous name fame status that is another combination which shows this now there is another very 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 powerful yoga that's happening here and that is the ninth lord which is in the 10th house so jupiter considering the fact that the number 12 sign is pisces is situated in the 10th house here this is beautiful this is fantastic so the ninth lord uh, in the 10th shows that the person likes to do a lot of administrative work because ninth house is the house of rules regulations and 10th house is the house of actions so when the ninth lord is in the 10th house this shows that the person can do a lot of work related to law governing yes and making people follow things implementing things because ninth house is the house of rules and 10th house is the house of implementation so when the ninth lord is in the 10th house this is considered fabulous now there is another raj yoga in this chart ketu co-rules the sign of scorpio along with mars so here ketu is the fifth lord because the sign eight here is of scorpio and ketu is also situated in the 10th house yes so uh, when the fifth lord is in the 10th or the 10th lord is in the fifth because fifth house is the house of uh, promotions name fame status etc also yes rise in status it is also the house of downfall because uh, it is eight from the 10th if you count one two three four five six seven eight so you reach to this house so eighth house from any house shows the death and rebirth of that house so if the eighth lord is well placed or uh, sorry if the fifth lord is well placed in the 10th that shows that there is a positive transformation which is happening yes and k2 is in a fire sign where it is extremely strong and that it is uh, with planet like jupiter which signify which signifies spirituality moksha and all these things so it is very strong so that rajova is also very profound here yes now there is another beautiful thing which is happening here is the seventh lord which is shani saturn is placed in the lagna so seventh house is also the house of name and fame and first house is also yourself so when the lagnesh and the seventh house are linked or the seventh lord and the lagna are linked then this also shows that there can be a lot of name fame success and career uh, opportunities for this person and if you take into consideration the houses of money the houses of money are two six 
10 and 11 yes so just see the second lord is sitting in the 10th house in big bulk in exaltation so it is very strong again the sixth lord which shows service which is jupiter is also in the 10th house so his status will have a very important part of uh, sorry the service aspect will be very important for his status okay so sixth lord in the 10th is fabulous for money etc so i said two six ten so 10th house has so many planets there this is insane four planets in the 10th house my god this is superb for Kelly. and then the 11th house also has two two benefits that two benefits like moon and mercury yes and one of them is in exaltation being the lagna lord and the 11th lord also is in the 10th house yes so this is very 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 good for career uh, related things and now the 10th lord here is mangal is in the 12th house so because 12th house is the house of travel and uh, long distance travel is per especially so this person does a lot of travel to the overseas and is uh, actively involved with uh, the finance ministry and sometimes he gets involved in uh, trips which are from different countries and uh, hosting delegates from different countries and that is how this 10th lord in the 12th is playing so he these planets will give him a good name fame status but when he goes to the office he will be doing things pertaining to the 12th house which is what for foreign travel and dealing with foreign delegates etc and because it is in the sign of gemini this will show a lot of uh, hosting yes because gemini is ruled by mercury mercury shows guests and people who keep coming so and work related to documentation etc so all these things are been uh, taken care of by this person and the only thing i would uh, say something negative in this chart is uh, presence of malefic like rahu in the fourth house and saturn in the first house because this can give uh, a dissatisfaction to the heart of the person irrespective of what the person is doing but uh, as i said i do not know this person and i don't know how the other things are playing out because i don't know the other divisional charts and i see that here jupiter venus and sun are also conjunct so this should give a lot of positivity to the native and moon is exalted here and the lagna lord which is also moon is also exalted so this should uh, balance out for these two malefic combinations okay and now somebody will ask me oh what about his married life what about this what about that no i don't know anything I just said about his career so I just wanted to link the houses to 6, 10 and 11 how they are interlinked then Lagnesh in 11th, 9th Lord in the 10th, 5th Lord in the 10th and 7th Lord in the Lagna so this is what I wanted to highlight here so that is it from my side IAS officer and uh, if you want a consultation from me then approach me to my website and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it okay and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want to share this with others who want to know if they can do good in the indian administrative service then uh, also share it okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you